Alrighty hoes, we got the Ohio State Buckeyes number eight. We got the tough road ahead is what they're saying, and Matt just screwed up my stuff. <laughs> but, tough road ahead, apparently we got. That's the title of their news story. Can the Mavericks invade Columbus and leave the horseshoe with a victory? I don't know what kind of puff piece this is, but I'm not going to stand for it. Ohio State's got an A ranking and everything. Not an A plus, which is interesting. And we got a D minus, so we'll see how this goes. So as a defensive uh, coach, uh, my goal is to get Justin Fields to beat us and not Dobbins. So Because Dobbins is just going to do what he does. Yeah, Dobbins. Uh, my goal is to keep him under 200 yards. Okay, so they obviously are just stacked. They got, unfortunately, we got to deal with Chase Young, too, on the defensive end. I, hopefully, I don't. he's not the side I'm scrambling to. Okay. Starting out with the read Solid. option. We'll see how this works for us. Stewart is going to just make a beautiful play. Timothy Stewart just just diming, just destroying this Ohio State defense right now. They have nothing. They have nothing going on right now. Timothy, Timothy Stewart just said, try to stop me right now, Ohio State. Try. Oh my god. Jake Marshall right there with the 11-yard catch. Catch. Marvin Petty. Look at this man. He is just not willing to give up the starting position. Damn, Robertson does not make that block. I was kind of counting on that for the first down, but... Robertson just said, F*** you, Fitzpatrick. Oh my god, no. I just got absolutely wrecked because nobody blocked. So that was fun. Oh my goodness gracious. The first fumble of Chance Fitzpatrick's career. I'll be damned. Not a good not a good position to fumble right there, but that is okay. And Dobbins is going to just shit on us for eleven yards. But it's hard to stop this guy's probably acceleration is probably like ninety-eight. Ooh, and I bit hard. And, and oh my goodness. I, uh, as the defensive tackle, bit hard that he was going to Dobbins, so he just knocked that one out. It was not J.K. Dobbins. Just so many rushing lanes. Mm. Mm. And Dodd catches up to him, but not in time. Coordinator. Maurice Gold gets drilled for five yards. Robertson, slant, eight yards. Good job. Kenneth Bray just shits on their number one corner. Let's go. And um, our mascot, uh, Blaze, because Trigger actually died a few weeks ago. So Mr. Blaze over there just celebrating like a madman. And he is going to run it up the gut for an eight-yard rush. Let's go. Go. Rouse is going to get three yards, and I don't know if we got field goal range. Crazy right now. And Jake is going to just go out into the floor. Dice is the defense right there. Just high IQ play by Marshall right there. Marvin Pedd just looking straight him down. He knew exactly where he was going as soon as he hiked the ball. He could read the deep and to see that Jake March would be right, wide open right there. Jake Marshall is going to get close to the first down, and I feel like well, this is Ohio State. We cannot go for the field goal here. We just got to try to get the fullback run here. Petty is going to You're give kidding. his life for this team and go forward for a yard. He just dives and said, I don't care what happens to my body. This has to be a first down. If you remember what I said, I said this is the this is the real number TB12. Not Tom Brady. It is Marvin Petty 12 right now. Grimmage, what is going on right now? It is right in. Jason Rouse I'm with a zero-yard touchdown run. <laughs> they, they couldn't say inches, so they just had to say zero. Oh, oh my goodness. 
Oh no, oh, man. Justin Fields just said screw this and just ruined our live there. Just no block shutting it. I think our entire defense was on the ground on that play. Oh, that was not a good decision, and Bray is going to save my Hashtag life on that Oh play. my goodness, Kenneth Bray. Absolutely stud right there. Robertson. Oh my god, Petty just throws a dime there. And Robertson lays out for it, because number one, Elga Duba Duba, I think he's in the NFL now as well, just was in a zone on that play. Beautiful play by Robertson to save me. Maurice Gold is going to get a first down. They blitz and they paid for it. One absolutely crazy. You cannot believe it. Kenneth Bray. Kenneth Bray right there with the clutch catch right there against one of the top corners in the league. Todd Towns with the dime of his life right now. <laughs> nope. Mm. And Harrison is going to get the pick there. I thought we had room, but it appears not to be. And Dobbins is going to get a touchdown off of this. There is nobody. I don't think Henry can catch him. And he will not. Dobbins takes a 90 something yard run, 94 yards there. And Ohio State is looking to put this one in the Mavericks out of their misery. Oh my god! Ryan Richard just said, I just got killed. He is pulling a Byron left to it right now. And Jake is going to get a 12-yard completion, it looks like. And Jake is going to get another completion for 13 yards, so we're going to keep it moving. If they're not going to cover the running back out of the backfield, they do not deserve to have any success. Sucks, but it is what it is. Kenneth Bray is going to be the master of this, the corn, uh, the, what is that route called? The curl. God, if I could think. Maurice Gold is going to save our ass, the tight end, against their number one corner. Being down by Jake Marshall right now with their catch right there. Beautiful catch. And Petty on the run makes a throw. I was trying to set my feet on that one, but still a beautiful throw to Kenneth Bray. Kenneth Bray with the amazing catch. Petty just runs for his life, gets seven yards on the play. I think we gotta go for the field goal here, I don't know. The game is just gonna not work for us. And Alonzo Vincent is gonna say, screw this, he's gonna recover and destroy their little punk ass screenplay. That? Yes. Just no tackling. Ohio State has just got to the better athletes. It's going to be tough to stop. Mm -hmm. And they're going to stop this one. Ryan Richard comes from his corner spot to clean that one up. Let's go. Nick Poole recovers. I thought he got beat on that one, but he tipped that one away, and they're going to have to settle for a field goal here. What an amazing play right there by Nick Poole. Just a great touchdown saving, or first down saving um, the pass deflection. Amazing. Good run. Good solid run. Six yards. We can't get a good push, so Jake's going to be constantly running into the ass and bouncing off, but... That's a solid run, though. It is a solid run. Robertson is going to save us again. Number one, you are not going to the NFL playing like this against the Mavericks receivers. Damn right. Jake Marshall with the 10-yard catch. Amazing. 
This man has just become a sure hander receiving back right now. Just absolutely amazing. What a find by Petty right there. P Petty scrambled out, but he wasn't fast enough, so he just did a little nice maneuver there to hit Maurice Gold. Just an amazing find right there by Petty. Just a great throw on the run. Just super amazing. Oh, why throw that play? He had a... Oh, my God. I am not taking blame for that. That was, the, that was just... He had the, the out route, but he just threw something. I guess maybe I threw it too early on the cut. I don't know. I guess that would be the only thing I could think of. Mm. Here, Dodds saves our ass. J.K. Dobbins just running all over us. We, there's nothing much we can do. But this is just us trying to stop the bleeding at this point. Wow. Yeah. Another intentional grounding. We do not get a 15-yard penalty on that. This should be third and, what, 25? Yeah, something like that. But we do not get one, unfortunately. Just unfortunately going to have all year. And he's going to scramble out like a little punk. Get back here. Kenny Dickerson just tore your ACL, and he gets right back up from it. This is ridiculous right now. That man's ACL should just be destroy destroyed. He should not be able to walk ever again. He should have his leg amputated like Alex Smith right now. I mean, you saw that hit by, by young Kenny Dickerson. He's one of my favorite players on this team. Come on, you get in there. Get in there for a freaking... And they had Olave again on a curl route. There's just nothing we can do. We're trying to do stuff here. Oh, yeah. There's nothing we can do, just the talent right now is just not up to par with Ohio State at this moment. Way too, too powerful. Nope. Oh my god, Arnett Jr. apparently is a better receiver than our own receiver. This is just getting so <laughs> out of hand, oh my god. Well the funny part there was he had, uh, I don't know what you call that route, but I call it the Troy Brown route, and our receiver was so slow on the break. Look at number three, he's just so much faster. On the break, like he broke, like our receiver was supposed to break on that route. And at least if our receiver broke on that route, it would have been like a competition for the ball. But just nothing there is going to be successful for us. And I am saddened at this turn of events. Jake Marshall is going to make a 19-yard reception. Beautiful play. up completely five turnovers this has just been a bad day for the offense this is the worst <laughs> Murray's goal is going to get wide open and make a beautiful 23 yard reception. <laughs> oh my goodness. Jake Marshall was going to be sliding all over the place for eight yards on that one. That was so interesting how the physics worked on that. That's so good. <laughs> Oh my, my God. God, Stephen Hills, Marvin Petty with the wherewithal to get sneaked that He must have put all of his arm into that one and broke his own arm. Because he had to get that one in so fast before that corner got there. There it is. Oh, oh wow. He's going to get a six yard run and not get the touchdown. Well, here, let's go. Marvin Petty, up the gut. <laughs> not touch. Let's go. He's going to save us and get us a touchdown, but I think we're going to just go ahead and sim the rest of this one and just get on out of here with our ass whooping. Yeah, today was just a rough day. Ohio State on this game right now is just too freaking good. Dobbins, Fields, just, I mean, you saw it on, I think the best example was on that, uh, what do you call that, Rella? Uh, uh, that, what do I, it's like a, not a curl, but like a curl to the outside, kind of like where you come back to it. I don't know what that route is, but our, our receiver was just so slow on the turn for it, it was, and their corner was just like the receiver. It was 
pretty rough to watch. And that 94 yard touchdown right there by JK Downers just short our defense. So, yes, there's just nothing you can do hard. They're right there, boom. Just, it's just hard to stop. Stats for the day Chance was knocked out really early. He had a completion for 14 yards. Uh, Marvin Petty had 352 yards, three interceptions. Probably at least two of those were on my stupid ass. And Todd Towns was one for three, 15 yards, and an interception. God, I was just interception happy today. Nothing much going on the ground. Jake had nine carries, 23 yards. Petty had 27 yards. And Chance had 16. And uh, our fullback, Jason Rouse, got a touchdown on the ground. Jake was our leading receiver. We were just dump off city. He had 13 catches for 121 yards for a 9.3 average. Kenneth Gray, 7 catches, 63 yards. Maurice Gold, 5 catches, 60 yards. Gary Robertson, 4 for 77. Adam McGee had 2 for 20. He's got to be really far on the depth chart. Stephen Hills had that 1 for 23 yards. And Tim got 1 for 14 yards. And Sean Cleveland, our center, had a pancake. Beautiful play by him. On defense, Alonzo Vincent, the defensive tackle, had two tackles for a loss. Nick Ferris had one, Ryan Richard had one, and Ronald Thibodeau had one. And it was a pretty rough day on defense. Just not a lot we could do against this high-powered Ohio State offense. And it looks like Nick Poole as well had a deflection. <laughs> Marvin Clancy had decided, you know what? I'm going to the school. We beat out TCU, and he is our second recruit. 77 overall stud right guard and Michael Mullins the speedy linebacker we're gonna go all in on this young man and John Harvey this guy is a stud we overtook Alabama but it's still gonna be tight because Bama Notre Dame Georgia and Auburn want this guy but for some reason he's leaning towards us and we don't have a ton of bonus factors in his in his thing but somehow we're still in it and this guy would just be a freaking beast for us. A 90 speed, 85 acceleration quarterback with a 91 throw power and 79 accuracy. Like this guy, which in a 91 carrying, this guy would be so clutch for us. Trey Smith looks like we're gonna get him. I'll just throw the rest of the points in to get him to hurry his ass up because he's gonna be kind of a backup option. If we do get Trey Smith, I'm gonna redshirt him his first year because. We need that accuracy to be at least, you know, improved, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and offer the scholarships to these linemen because these guys could be pretty good. This guy is also not a bad option at quarterback. He's an 88 speed, 86 XL, 86 power, and a 72 accuracy. This guy could be, and he's also would be a really good corner or safety. He's got a 82 man coverage, 82 zone. And 71 hit power, so that's not too, too bad. Keith Alvarez here. We're going to dump a crap ton of points into this guy because this guy also is a viable quarterback. Um, 93 speed, 88 excel, 80 throw power, 84 accuracy. And what else is he? He could play receiver as well, but this guy could be a good quarterback. We also got Carlos Atkins here. I don't even know if we were going after him, but apparently we were. He's also a really fast outside linebacker, 88 speed, 90 XL. So that is a good find. I did not need, I don't even remember recruiting this guy. And then our favorite guy in the class, Marvin Clancy. It looks like TCU was kind of on our ass, but we did take it away from him. 79 pass block, 84 run block, 80 impact block, and this guy is going to be a start of day one. Day one, absolutely. Okay, we're going to put the full points on Mike Nelson here at the defensive tackle. We did some low-lock cheese to find him. 77 power move, 73 finesse, 75 block shedding. So this guy, we didn't just need defensive tackles because we are out. Like three of our defensive tackles are seniors. We are playing the Nevada. Nevada, what, what is their thing? Their thing here says bottom out. UT Arlington battles Nevada to stay out of the Mountain West Conference cellar, which... That's just not going to happen, but let's see. Okay, there is a C, a C, and a C plus. So this is going to be a little bit easier than Ohio State, luckily. Getting just absolutely decimated. Devastated. Ah. <laughs> that was just a last minute desperation Jake Marshall play. starting out this game with a 17-yard reception. <laughs> that is a beautiful play. You play by Jake Marshall right there. Huh. 
two yard run there. Our offensive linemen are in our own backfield. Crenshaw said, I have this coach. Robbie Crenshaw out of the slot. Beautiful out route. Oh my god, Jake Marshall hangs on to it after getting absolutely demolished. What an amazing catch right there by Jake Marshall. Just absolutely. Beautiful play by Marvin Petty. The way I just had him step into that throw and he just delivered a bomb. Beautiful play. And the Mavericks right now take the lead. Absolutely. What an absolute dot right there by Marvin Petty. Oh my god, Thornton recovers and knocks it out of his hand. Beautiful play by Zach Thornton. Zach Thornton said, not in my house right now, bro. He said, let's go. Norris Brad for the safety. Zach Thornton catches up to save. And they're going to get a first down on that. They're going to run the out route and not get it. Not get it. I feel like the, the refs are going to call it a challenge on that one, but we'll see. They are not going to call a challenge. And Carson Strong is going to just take it out. We had them covered up pretty well, but he's going to take it himself. Ooh, and they are going to get us on a slant there. That slant is so hard to stop on the goal line. Ball by. Oh my goodness. Mr. Gold right there just catches it. I'll be honest with you guys there. I pressed R1 I just, just for the hell of it, just to see what would happen. And Maurice Gold just makes a beautiful play. Jake Marshall is going to get a seven-yard reception, almost the first down. We're going to bring in the fullback on this one. See what happens here? The fullback oh just God. gets stuck. He gets absolutely destroyed. That is his first destruction, maybe his second destruction of the year. We are going to get absolutely screwed. They run the out route, and he makes a terrible throw out of bounds. And he's going to slide like a coward, like a little. He does not want to face our our D line to get that. He just doesn't want to do it. And they do run a screenplay, and the running back decides to dive like it's like that is like a game-ending touchdown. I believe we just forced him to punt the ball here. Maurice Gold again bails us out. And a beautiful screenplay run to perfection, 11 yards, 72 on the edge with that beautiful block. And there's a horse, just Mr. Blaze, just going absolutely crazy right now. I do not know the man in that mascot, but he must be blazing out of his mind right now. He is just going absolutely crazy. And Marvin Petty looking like a young Michael Vick there on the read option. He might be slow as shit, but he just followed his blocks there and it set up perfectly. And another eight yards. Petty is running like his job depends on it. There's more than likely. Well, he's through six passes. Yeah, he's good. And Maurice Gold does not give a shit. Because Maurice anything. Gold is just throwing, just catching. He must have, he just have, must have a new brand of stickum on his gloves right now. He is looking like an absolute stud right now, right here. And Petty is gonna die for the 12 yards. I probably had some guys open there, but I was so focused. I was just like tunnel vision. Just more of the petty just goes for the touchdown. He's like, I'm gonna take this in for the score, boys. I have this. Bold strategy here, guys. Jake Marshall goes in there for the touchdown. Jake Marshall goes in there for the six. Let's go. And if you notice, he threw that little punk defender off who tried to tackle him in the end zone. 
That is a nice run for two yard touchdown that is gonna give us the lead again. No way. <laughs> he was under heavy pressure and got away for six yards. That was pretty scary. Ooh, they got us on an out route. That is one of those routes that is just so hard to stop. And number 12 thinks he's Tom Brady. I feel like we should go uh, bounty gate on this guy. Nope. And they're going to run in for a touchdown. That's going to tie it up at 14 all. Kenneth Bright right there with the clutch catch there on the, on the second and uh, eight. But really, really good getting separation there on the curl route. And Huffman is going to get three Let's yards go. on the play, and that's going to extend this drive. And Timothy is going to get nine, ten yards on there. They're going to call it inches, though. And a beautiful run. The blocking was set up well, five yards. Jake Marshall just got demolished on the play there. And Crenshaw is wide open on the play. Crenshaw just makes an absolutely amazing play right there. Just, just dust the corner on that play. Just watch this. This looks like Ocho Cinco in his prime. Just look at this. Just crazy, crazy speed on his feet. Just gets out for the press. Just amazing play right there. And he's going to go down. And he is killed on the play right now. He is just done. He says he retires after making the play of his f***ing life. <laughs> Hikes the ball. Jake Marshall goes in there on touch for a three yard touchdown. Let's go. And the Mavericks right now are possibly going to take the lead into the second half 21 to 14. Let's go. Beautiful play by Peter Dodd. He's been quiet, but he just made a beautiful pass break up there. And Nick Poole is going to make the tackle. Let's go. We need to just keep them from scoring here. And they are going to call some bullshit on that. No way in hell that quarterback scrambles all the way to the right and just launches it all the way to the opposite side of the field. That was at least freaking 30 yards just across the field. I'm not doing a very good tackle. No, they're oh, going they to are going to get a touchdown of this somehow. Unbelievable. We're going to go to halftime tied up 21-21, which basically means it's 0-0. Zero to zero, And that is the score. 0-0. Zero to zero. We're going to come out and try to win this game. And he's going to get a throw away there because Alonzo Vincent, the defensive tackle, was all over his ass. And that dummy, Caleb Fossum, is going to run out of bounds and give us the ball back. Let's go. Great hold up by the defense there. Unbelievable. Let's get it. Nice zoom by Tim Stewart. 11 yards. Twin. Mm, those linebackers have got to be gods with their reaction time on that. That is not physically possible to break that fast on the ball. Jake. Jake Marshall just trucked that to the to another continent. He said, get the f*** out of my way. Oh, oh my goodness. Gold got bumped by one of our receivers, but he comes up and makes a catch. Thank God. I was about to cry myself to sleep. Let's go, Gold. I just got to sit here seven years and wait for this route to get open. Stephen Hills is going to get a 30-yard reception. I do not know if field goal range is here, but we might have to try it. We might have to look. we got to see here. <sighs> Someone is going to save us on the cleanup on that play, but... And again, we got the pressure on that play, but just not... They're running the slant on that, it looks like. It's, just, it's hard to get there in 0.5 seconds. And Gold with the beautiful toe tapper. 
Good dot. <laughs> I saw he was wide, and I was like, oh, it's probably that was actually that accurate of a throw, actually, to be honest. Yeah. That was a good throw. Good job. Nick Poole with the tackle on the quarterback. Let's go. Come on, guys. We got to play. We got to get some things done here. And just somehow the read option is just so OP. It is so crazy. Ryan Richards is going to save us on that read option. It was the last guy that could have stopped the quarterback. Yeah, Maxwell is going to be wide open. And he's pretty fast, actually, for a tight end. Jason Maxwell, 58 yards. And Tim Stewart is going to save our ass on the reception by the running back. <laughs> Inside we open. Okay, you know what, guys? We just need, we need to play smart. We can't get off of any of these blocks, man. I don't understand why. We're just, we have no block checking. <laughs> that is so garbage, dude. Jesus! I just have to see, like, Like who's on him? Dude, uh, what are you? This mean? guy? This dude's on him. This guy, right here. I'm. It's on him. Was Richard on a blitz? Is he blitzed? Maybe he's on. There's white guys on a blitz. This dude. Right. I. Who the fuck is this guy on? Is, if, he, if he's on because him, you saw, you saw I was covering you're three. covering three. And I'm assuming that's how the play art was. So why is this guy going after him? <laughs> like, look, he goes after him. And then, yeah. Shit is so dumb. Jake Marshall just... <laughs> that ball hung in the air so long for that 30-something yard reception. Jesus. I'm just so glad the damn game finally registered my catch. Jeez. You probably can hear it on the video that I hit the fucking triangle 800,000 times. Because <laughs> the game just does not register your catch. It just... Maxwell's going to get down to the three yard line on that beautiful route. Oh, why did Oh my god, Maxwell. I thought he had a, a, a route out in the flat, but... <sighs> Man, God just cannot get off the blocks. Just none of our guys can get off the blocks. None of them. Absolutely not. Just been a rough day for the defense on, on block shedding. Just a lot of cheese by the computer today. And when the computer is kind of playing like a user and going a lot of cheese mode, it's very hard to stop for the 48 overall team. Yes, very. It's very hard. You can't get any pressure. You can't stop passing. You can't stop. They can't get off uh, run blocks. You just can't do nothing. Oh, nope. No way he just jumped that. That's crazy. That was the biggest. Look, this computer man today is just out to get us. We could have won this game, but this computer is just on cheese mode oh. central. And the receiver just got wide open. Dubes has just been feasting today. This is film study here. We're going to see. We had a cover three call, but apparently we had nobody... Like, what is going on? I was in a, in a yellow zone, so I was taking off that, t that tight end. I, so who's that guy right there next to him that just stopped on the route? I have no... Okay, that was Peter Dodge. Just, there's nobody in the flat. Where are you going? 
See, this is just the NCAA cheese right here. Look at that. That doesn't make sense. There's no running back. There's nobody in the flat. Just another rough game for the Mavericks. We kept it close, so it's not a total embarrassment, but that was another kind of second half beatdown from Nevada. They came to play. I think we got Marshall next week, so that should be very fun. No matter what, even if we get stomped in the ground. All right, stats for today. Todd Towns got in the game two for two, 17 yards. Marvin Petty was 25 for 39 for 433 yards and two touchdowns, one interception, one stupid decision by the user. Rushing was kind of another rough day. Jake had 28 yards and two rushing touchdowns, though, so that's positive. And Petty had 38 yards on the ground. Timothy Stewart also got one for 11 yards. Beautiful 11-yard average. Marquise, or Maurice Gold, 7 catches, 108 yards. Jake at 6 for 89. Tim Stewart, 5 for 53. Grenshaw, 3 for 54 and a touchdown. And Jason Maxwell, 3 for 98 and a tutty. Stephen Hills got 1 for 30. Huffy got 1 for 4. And Kenneth Gray had 1 for 14. Sacks allowed by Maxwell and Fuller. On defense, Evan Mann had to tackle for loss, as well as Ryan Richard, Nick Ferris, Pierre Dodd, Ronnie Thibodeau, and Kenny Dickerson. And it looks like we got Antonio Daniel to commit to our team. This is fantastic news. Already taking a look at recruiting John Harvey. You are the man. Please keep that. Alabama is trash. You do not want to go there. Nick Saban's going to retire soon. Don't do it. Don't do the brother. Trey Smith is definitely probably a lot to get here. Xavier Robinson's coming, and it looks like Quentin Madison is... We're taking a decent lead on him as well. Joel Sullivan's coming. Keith Alvarez. Let's, ooh, we took a... We got up with him because we had, we're not even putting points on this guy. This is the other quarterback with a 90... <laughs> can you imagine a quarterback with a 93 speed? That would be just running all over the place. But yeah. Where we took, we're over A&M, LSU, Georgia, and Penn State. Michael Mullins, we're in the lead, very good lead as well. So here's a look at Antonio Daniel. We ran away with this dude. Texas Tech, get out of here. Okay, this guy, yeah, he's this. We had a lot of things going in our favor, proximity to him, him playing time, and we have a B in television <laughs> exposure. I guess that's fake, but that's good. So yeah, this is also the quarterback. He's got a pretty, he's got an 88 speed, 86 XL, 86 throw power, and a 72 accuracy. The accuracy is, is workable. And with that kind of speed, it's amazing. And he also can play corner if, for some reason, we want to move him over there, too. All right, in week, I don't know, what week are we in? Seven? Yeah, we're 0 6. We're in week seven. We're going to play Marshall in the next episode. And I do want to take a look real quick at what they got working, because I am a Marshall fan. Well, we're both a Marshall fan, so let's see what they're working with here. They are slightly better than us. A Levias, the tight end, is leading in receptions, which actually I think he did in real life, actually, so. Uh, Hodge, that makes sense, he's a beast. Alright, that's going to be it for this episode. Peace out.